reliable chargers. <laughs> this is me where I'm parked. This one won't accept my card for I don't know what reason, so I have to plug into this one. So it's not just the motorway service stations that are unreliable. <sighs> what we do here is go back, 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 back. Right, yes, so I'm going to try and cycle into the centre of London today, which will uh, be interesting. I've always wanted to try and cycle into the centre of London, never actually managed it. Well, I didn't have a bike that fitted in the back of the car originally, so I couldn't, but uh, yeah, that is the mission for today. I'm probably going to run out of time and, and not make it again, because that always seems to happen to me, but... I'm going to try it out anyhow. Welcome to the building site that is the Olympic Park. There's the old Olympic Stadium in the background there. I think it looks better when it had the um, ribbony things around the outside. There is one major problem with today's plan, and that is that I'm almost certainly going to get lost. Still, can but try. I'd love to fly my drone around here. Could be problematic from a legal standpoint. The other question is, how long will the battery last on this bike? Will it carry me all the way into the centre of London and back out? I should be able to do it. As anyone who's watched my uh, other e-bike related vlog posts, you'll know I'm not a massive fan of the concept of pedalling. It's all very fancy around here. It's a good place to come actually on a nice sunny day. I'll try and stay off the bumpy bits for you whilst we're doing our cycle tour of East London. According to Google, that rather creepily knew I was going to be cycling today when I hadn't even told it popped up suggesting cycle directions instead of driving ones. It will take 36 minutes to get in, which by my calculations will give me enough time to get in, maybe grab like a piece of pizza or something, and then back out. That obviously isn't counting the uh, obligatory I'm lost help checking on my phone to see which way I should go. Time. Okay, I think I'm lost already. It really didn't take very long. See, I'm gonna get a beautiful tan today. Aha! The cycle super highway. You know, these human electric hybrid bikes are brilliant, I've decided. You know, you use the electric motor to get you going then you just top up as required. Fantastic. And actually, you do get going quite quickly with these things because you're not knackered. Because when you are knackered, you just take a rest and keep on riding. Well, I've worked out why electric bikes only do 15 miles an hour. The sheer annoyance of going so slowly quickly leads to you pedalling in order to top up the speed. So, yeah. Actually, I suppose when you think about it, it's probably quite clever because it means I've actually done some exercise today when, let's be honest, if the bike did 30, I probably wouldn't. In fact, I definitely wouldn't. And in more good news, I'm at Aldgate, which for those that don't know, is pretty much the outskirts of the centre of London. Yeah, the sun is cooking me good now. Well, I am officially in the centre. Uh, the question is, do I have time to go any further? This is where I want to go. This merits further investigation. Where am I? You know, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, would you look at that? That's why I've never seen it before. Right next to Buckingham Palace. 
That's what we came here to see. Because there's some sort of a major event going on, this is quite literally as close as I can get, and I can't go down the mall, so I guess that's that. Right, where that guy's cycling over there, yeah? Perfect, Thank thanks. You. I didn't know there was something going on. The change of the guard. Unfortunately, because they were changing, I couldn't actually get any closer. Well, not with the bike anyway, so there you go. Major downside to uh, bicycle tours of London. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say somebody actually thought about this cycle super highway business. Seems pretty good to me. So the only other two questions remaining are, do I have enough power to get back to the car? and am I going to get hideously lost? Although so far, it seems like I'm doing pretty well. Thanks Google. I started with 22 kilometers on the clock, so I put on 34, which I'm pretty sure is 50% further than the range they said the bike would do. Because that 34 kilometers used maybe 50% of the battery, I guess. Yeah, something something like 50%. So I've got no complaints on range, that's for sure. I tell you what though, my ass doesn't have a range of more than 30 kilometers on this bike. Wait here. Uh, I think that's about it for today. I hope you've all enjoyed today's vlog post. If you have, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you tomorrow for the next instalment of my daily vlog. Bye! I'm gonna go celebrate with the McDonald's now. Some good healthy food after my uh, electrically assisted exercise. I wouldn't really call it exercise. I think the bike did the vast majority of the work if I'm being completely honest.